I feel that 25,000 credits is an ample payment for services rendered. Tomorrow morning is the 78th cyclical Carbine Kennel Club dog show at the dome here on the blue heaven level. I want you to take Aurora Nebbins out of that dog show. Kill the Kidnap dog? The dog? Well, we, don't, we just have to take her out. Or is he, I or want you to break that dog's legs. Oh! Oh! I look her right in the eye and I go, I'll break that dog's legs. <laughs> For forty-eight thousand. No. And no. I roll. Can I roll persuasion? No. 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 Uh, no. I am too drunk to give the help action. Okay. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-one. Ten. Gotcha. Even with that plus. Don't the you get plus, the plus eight? I don't think you. Oh, yeah. Boy. Um. So you see, I am not of a mind to negotiate on price. Mm, I would like to use my subtle control. Okay. Which is uh, part of my class. She goes, what were we talking about? Nothing. Uh, Absolutely we'll, nothing. We say, we'll do it for 48,000 credits. What? And I Can roll we... a persuasion. Oh! Go ahead and roll persuasion. With advantage. With advantage. Unless and being drunk and means also, I don't have to cancel Can we like, so ask her to do also, something we're else? we're not going to break the dog's legs. <laughs> yeah, persuade her about that. And I want to get paid, so let's get, take that out. Uh, that's a 32 oh. to persuasion. 32. She looks at you and says, and we're not going to break dog's legs. Aurora Nebbins is a royal blue mastiff. She will appear tomorrow at the Carbine Kennel Club dog show at the Dome. You will have a very short amount of time to infiltrate the dog show. And for 25,000 credits, simply remove the dog. The price you have asked, that 48,000, I am sure you will be able to reap that cost and more ransoming yeah. the dog. We're yeah. taking the dog. <laughs> the dog. And so that's, uh, I'm, I will be happy to supply you with the contact details for my law to make this ransom exchange. Our interaction will end at 25,000 credits. Does that sound amenable to we all shake parties hands. involved? Yeah. Uh, she shakes hands with you. Would, Just, your si would your dog like a little nibble of psychic donut? You see, uh, she looks down at the little Norwich Terrier, Mabro, and goes, he eats exclusively money. <laughs> <laughs> the truck pulls up to the Dome, the ritziest, poshest club in all the Blue Heaven level. This is the crown jewel of Rec 97. You see there are full, like, red carpets rolled out. This is a full gala of the Rec's biggest and best dog owners. And right. do I see this weird hairless dog? On a 20 inside, did, did anyone get above a 15 perception? 17. 17. So you're looking around for your person. You're looking for... Um, Milo. Aurora Nebbins? Milo. So the name of the owner oh, is, is Milo or Nabsax. And you're looking for Aurora Nebbins, a royal blue mastiff. Yeah. Um, so you never, you never heard of a royal blue mastiff? A freakish, 20-foot-long oh uh, monster. A blue weasel with bulbous, <laughs> solid yellow eyes oh, um, and so teeth both in its mouth and protruding from the exterior of its mouth, like some on the outside of its lips, uh, is, has a huge like ship's chain around its neck and goes, <laughs> Like claws at the ground, um, and you see there are a couple of androids like holding it in place. It is a space monster. Is the is the trucker gone? Trucker's gone. Um, I think that's it. Very good, Aurora. Very good. So, <laughs> if we slapped a tattoo on that thing right now, it would lose, and we How would do have we... done. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh my I, God. I think we have to find out the judging, how people are judged. Because what if we what need if to make sure it's not the in the show, though? I think it's not about whether it wins the show or not. Look, I can carry that thing. 
I was gonna say, <laughs> I actually think I can too. Yeah. Okay, so between you the put two, the gunners you can on get it, hands I think on that it. We can carry Gunner it. Gunner Channel takes that. How much time do we? Uh, how much time do we have until the dog show? I'll just. Can I ask a passerby? Hey, how much time until the dog show? Uh, about eighteen martrons. Okay. Uh, 18 okay. Martrons. Eighteen martrons. <laughs> oh minutes. God, eighteen minutes. So I okay. think if you all can create a distraction, I can enhance Droid, double my carrying capacity, and the two of us can carry this thing away. Is it? Is it? Do we have to incapacitate it first? It'll yeah, be you wailing all over. It, you see it coils up and hisses and spits venom into a dude's <laughs> face. <laughs> and you see it, someone's oh. like, beautiful dog. I oh can blind God. it. That's the best I can do. No. I mean, I can calm its emotions. I, that might work. But it's not a humanoid. Oh, I can't. What it's if not we... freaking Wait. humanoid. Oh, go ahead. We... Do you have an idea, Skip? What if we break its legs? <laughs> 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 It definitely isn't the t type of dog I, mean, I was yep. thinking of. I'm more open to breaking this thing's legs, <laughs> okay, but I don't great. want to. Skip, hey, I love that. I love that enthusiasm. Uh, I, maybe we, um, maybe we, uh, is it, uh, yeah, maybe we just let it loose. Is that a thing? No, it looks we like said we, the 25K is to have it not compete. But right? what if it, what if we let it, what if we Ooh. attack the handlers and it attacks a bunch of people and murders them and then and it they can't don't compete know if that's good in the judge's they eyes. They just said though. beautiful when somebody got acid spit in their face. Okay, maybe what you're right, you maybe say? you're right. Welcome one and all to the 78 cyclical Carbine Kennel Club Dog Show. Okay. What do the androids look like? Can we just look I cast like one of the handlers? analysis on the... Announcer? No, no, sorry, oh. on the, uh, Dog? on, do, on Aurora. On Aurora Nebbins, yes, absolutely. Yes. And so then I can use my intelligence modifier. I would like to choke it out. And just, <laughs> and just, incapa just kind of. So let me get it clear. Wait, 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 on the dais entering the space, you're gonna run up and choke out <laughs> a happen? weasel, large, as bad as large as an elephant. 20 feet, yeah. The CIA is after you. Wait, wait but where are we? I thought people. we were backstage. No, no, no. You're just like out on the curb looking at the entrance dais oh, okay. to the dome. Yeah, yeah, okay. Eyeball, how, how much does this thing weigh? Maybe, maybe north of a ton. Oh, go inside, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's figure out how we stay Amazing. Inside. As you, so you go up to the front, you see the like, security sort of checking people in. I'm not even trying to go in the front way. I want to just sneak in. We're, to we're, this we, there's like, there are probably like, handlers because, ah, oh, yeah. did you do a, you did a forgery check and it was bad, right? And it was bad, but can I try again? You can go up to talk to security if you want. Right, I would love to. Uh, is, is anyone, not trying that. Is anyone going to go find like a servant's entrance to the club or something? I'd love to I'm, try to stealth. Yeah, it. I'd like to try to stealth. So we got two stealthers here. Who's going with? I'll go with Margaret and I'll use calm emotions um, on us so that anybody within a 20 foot radius uh, is not hostile. I'm going to give Margaret potent aptitude. Okay, so you're all going with, with Margaret to the front. Yeah, I'm going to go with Margaret. Okay, just four of you go. So let's do stealth over here, gang. Nat 20. Woo! Uh, nice. 21. Yes. 21? Nat 20 um, becomes uh, 26. Amazing. Uh, Sydney, you skate away um, and you see oh. um, there's something, there's like a weird joint pop as well from the captain. And I think the captain can kind of move like an animal if he wants to a little bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, incredible. Uh, you go through the back. Um, uh, you are posted up, looking around. Uh, you are backstage. There's probably about like only it says ten martrons until places. Ten martrons until places. Uh, voice comes on. Time is of the essence. You're moving fast. Uh, you're in now. Aurora Nebbins has moved out to n not as private, but a small staging area. So there's a little, it's not the crowd, it's not the spectators, but there's probably a couple dozen people in here, groomers, people managing dogs, and there's a bunch of the different dogs that are on their things. Uh, Hyacinth is like one station away, glaring at Aurora Nebbins, mm -hmm. uh, and Nabthax, her, her sort of like rival. Um, uh, and you guys see, as sort of you get away, this uh, peachy, um, this peachy pug um, screaming. <laughs> and it keeps looking right at the skipper. Uh, you see an owner has come over um, and uh, looks at the, and you see the pug starts freaking out at the owner. Um, and you see the owner says, whoa, Melon, what's up, Melon? Sweetie, do you want to say something to daddy? This big sort of 
blonde pompadour. Say something to daddy. Um, and they start uh, just sort of making out um, uh, uh, off in the corner. Um, all of you can that I just yeah. make eye contact with everyone and yeah, be like see? and be like i'm just gonna get in there and hop no, on this thing and no, hopefully no, no, giddy up it. sneak in illy because there's a bunch of crazy security stuff in this place if they see us stealing this very valuable dog we're gonna we get in trouble we gotta, can i we gotta, can we gotta just i know i said i didn't want to hurt the dog but this isn't a dog this thing spits acid let's just knock it out <laughs> are, are there still androids uh uh are holding it down. Uh, Aurora seems to be somewhat. Con- the the androids are stationed to either side right. of Aurora. Are we going? Right okay, I'm going to try and hop on it and ride it out of here. And that doesn't work. Attack it. Right Great. <laughs> so I, I think, think at the exact fuck. moment that uh, Sid hops on, I'd like to reboot one of the uh, one of the androids. Yeah. Amazing. So you're going to go to get in position, right? Yeah. Are the rest of you? All standing in a clump? Are some of you getting near the doors? Are like, because you see there's there's doors, there's security, there's other stuff like that. Where are you all positioned at in this space? Um, uh, I want to be close enough, uh, so within 60 feet, to mm-hmm. be able to cast hallucination on this dog. 60 feet is also, I think, my distance from the dog closer to the door. Amazing. Yeah. I'm, I am just going to. Uh, uh, just like kind of on the opposite side of the room from the little the animal that's yelling at me. <laughs> You, uh, mm-hmm, can cool. I kind of block the door? Yeah, yeah, you can get in the doorway. Uh, and I'm casting Enhanced Droid on myself to get advantage on wisdom checks, and I've got an oh. ion grenade in my hand that I'm ready to throw over Can I shoulder. make uh, the skills exploit angle perception on the uh, the blue Mastiff? Yes, you can. Um, uh, I'm just going to get in position to blast some people. Hell yeah. Did you say that? One last roll on the peach plug. Can I figure out what the fuck is going on with them? Uh, yeah, do, me, do, do a roll on the peach pug. Yeah, go for it. Twelve? At, as Sid is starting to get into position, um, Barry, you're over by the door, um, and you hear a voice over your shoulder say, What's up, you fucking Jamoke? <laughs> <laughs> nice disguise. You look like a fucking dick. Who the fuck are you? Uh, you turn around and see just a weird looking, very out of place here. Like a weird looking armor, like partially spaced armored lunatic, very wide eyed, got like crazy, like green mohawk. He's like, he's like, sick dude. I thought we were going afterwards, man, but shit, we got him right here. That's funny as fuck, dude. You know what's gonna be way funnier than everything you're saying? What's that? When I break your fucking nose. And then I just <laughs> whack him. <laughs> um, you see, he goes, boom. Uh, you guys see, before the plane goes off, Barry <laughs> fucking lays a dude out. And he goes, what the fuck, man? This is not part of the plan. Wh- oh, what? Give me an inside check. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Uh, two. <laughs> two. You have no idea. He's like, what the fuck, I man? I keep kicking his head. <laughs> so uh, you hear an alarm go off, security <laughs> sounds. You no see uh, uh, the, that the captain has gone fully like catatonic as this pug has buried its tongue under one of his eyelids. Uh. Um, just <laughs> holding a pug there. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Shit has gone sideways. You see uh, Hyacinth from... Um, uh, you see, in your head, you hear the pug say, it is time, the great imagining can begin. Um, and uh, the tongue is removed from your eye. The pug turns to the the uh, owner and goes, uh, and you see the owner pulls out a gun and starts blasting into the crowd. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna hop on this creature. Reboot. And- <laughs> cool. Yeah. Hallucinate. It's the scariest fucking thing that you've ever seen. I, I still just think this dog. dude is part of the plan. <laughs> I'm, <just kidding. laughs> I'm gonna minor illusion like a super hot version of this blue mastiff right through that tunnel, hop on it, try to do an animal handling, and throw an ion grenade over my shoulder to try and fuck up all the uh, equipment. Okay, go. <laughs> what checks are you making? Um, I think I'm just, I mean, I'm making a minor hologram. Uh, and then also throwing this iron grenade, uh, ion grenade to um, 
uh, fuck up the things and then just an, uh, I guess an animal handling. Okay, you make an animal handling check. You have enhanced droid on that. Can I? Okay. Um, 18. 18. Um, uh, and what is the hallucination you're creating? It's a wisdom saving throw and- Oh, before you do that, can we say that I did my skills exploit? I said yes, it gets, it yes, it gets this. I rolled, it failed on its check. It got like oh. a natural two. Okay. Um, it fails its saving throw. Uh, just some, the most cute and fluffy thing you've ever seen, mm -hmm. which in my mind is the scariest thing to this scary thing. Yes. Just poofs into existence behind it and tries to hug it. <laughs> I use my blaster to blast its like chains or ropes or whatever. Hell yeah. So it. a bunch of blasters get drawn. You blam, blam, you hit the chains, androids fall back, you jump on this thing. Yeah! <laughs> Aurora Nebens rears up, looks over at Mylor Navtex. As the chains snap, Mylor says, oh no! This thing goes ah! and bites Mylor Navtex's head off. Uh, you see, I get a bonus for that. You see, Hyacinth goes, "Holy shit!" Um, <laughs> and you see that this dude underneath you says, "What the fuck, dude?" Takes out a blaster, says, "We're supposed to do the job." Points at the princeps and fires at the princeps. No, oh, I, 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 I bonus action uh, guard. Bonus guard action guard. The princeps. That is a nat one on the disadvantage roll. Yes. You boom, body out of the way. <laughs> Princeps dives for cover, grabs onto Aurora Nevins. Uh, Aurora Nevins <laughs> snakes through the crowd. Are uh, you here? Uh, oh, I want to fall back on the tail. So I'm kind of like, um, what's it called when you're, um, oh, what is that called? Like when, on a bus? Yeah. Like, like drifting or yes. whatever. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, you see, all uh, you hear, uh, welcome one and all to the 78 Cyclical Carbine Kennel Club Dog Show. <laughs> uh, you see Jimmy the Ferret, Reuters, uh, uh, Reuters News Ferret, Jimmy the Snout. Uh, his dais is destroyed as Aurora Nebin surges through it <laughs> into the midst of hundreds of onlookers screaming. Uh, 18 is good enough to ride this thing, but it goes out through the main dog show uh, and a bunch of Reuters News cameras all whoop on you. When they catch me, I say, I've been Warfare Whitney. You can't <laughs> trust me. The Princess Zorch, is, Zorch uh, they are holding on to like one of your roller skates as Aurora Nevins crashes out of there. Am uh, I still? Conscious? Uh, no, the, so you, yeah, you're good to go. <laughs> you <laughs> dip out of there. Gunny, Margaret, Barry, Reva, what's going on? Uh, I also leave? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run with Barry uh, after uh, Aurora Nevin. Cool. Yeah, I throw myself at Barry. I say, carry me. I go dip out of this right. consciousness back to the ship. Boom. Can I get the ship ready to leave? Oh, you start booting up the systems yes. right now. Um, as you do, you hear some chaos and see messages coming up on your personal comms from Pleasure Putty headquarters at Bargain Bliss saying, Mix Reva, please tell us how and why you acquired these most recent subs. We are finding their desire for the program difficult to manage. Um, Barry, as you start to run, the blood-covered guy behind you goes, goes, what the fuck, Barry? Your disguise is fucking stupid. Your fucking number's backwards. Where's Barry? Oh, shit. This guy fucking jetpacks <laughs> out the window. <laughs> Barry! <laughs> Um, Am I anywhere near this? Uh, you are, yeah, you're still like- Can you just jump on the jetpack? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, you jump on the guy. Oh, oh! The guy smashes out a window. Channel. Yeah. And I want to be, I want my face to be the face of Yeah, this. yeah, perfect. Uh, you are fully clocked by Reuters News, uh, I'm leaving like here. I'm at every individual camera, <laughs> flexing. Amazing. Uh, Gunny, Reva, Barry, you make it out of here. Um, uh, Skip, you you jump on this on this guy's jetpack. Grab his ankles. You grab his ankles, he takes you out to the street, he goes, what the fuck, man, stop! This wasn't even supposed to happen now, what's your deal? Give me that. <laughs> you see, he lands on the roof and gives you his jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Tell someone I'm up here. Circle Tell back. someone I'm up here. Go back and just roundhouse him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you zoom away in your jetpack. 
Sin, you ride this fucking hellish dog. Um, go ahead and give me one more animal check with persuasion. Um, really bad. Or, uh, sorry, animal handling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be a 10. A 10. Uh, this thing is delighted to be free. It is hard to control <laughs> this monster. <laughs> <laughs> just zooming through blue heaven, screaming. Um, you all get to the downsy daisy. Um, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go to the casino. <laughs> okay. Yes, you have your jetpack. Yes. So you and you also have that bonus action dash. You yes. uh, you get there. Um, you can jet uh, dash. Go ahead, get there. You see, waiting out front is the android Salazar. Give me that. Um, <laughs> go ahead. Um, uh, uh, as you uh, as you depart, um, uh, I'm gonna roll a luck check in front of the board. Okay. Okay. Yeah, definitely. You want high? That's a three. Fuck. Um, you see uh, Salazar standing there and saying, um, uh, "Absolutely, I would be more than happy. I just need confirmation from Ms. Chrome uh, that everything has gone according to plan." Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> and I pulled my, my pistol. <laughs> um, incredible. Um, uh, you pull a gun. Uh, go ahead and give me an intimidation check. 12. 12, okay. Uh, Salazar says, uh, I only, I don't wish for violence. I simply wish for confirmation. I don't see Aurora Nebbins, yet. Yeah, I'm supposed to get confirmation from Ms. Chrome. Can okay. I make a perception check to see if I hear or see an Aurora ne any sign of Aurora Nebbins? Or the TVs. Mm -hmm. Or the TVs, yeah. If there's any sort of live footage playing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, that is a 22. Uh, you point to a screen streaming Rec Station News and see a sort of helipod, uh, helipod chase looking at Sid and the princeps weaving through beautiful boulevards on Blue Heaven in like a cop's like high speed chase of this monster dog weasel. Um, all right, well, that'll do it. Here you go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a 25,000 credit oh. card lands in front oh. of you. <gasps> <laughs> you blast away. All of you converge. Uh, you, you see everybody converging here. Um, you get to the Pleasure Putty Factory first. You beat everyone here. The rest of you are coming down. You get a roar and the downsy daisy. Yeah. You begin to shoot down. Um, uh, just like this <laughs> levitating monster everyone, thing. Everyone, I think I'm taking a liking to her. <laughs> um, bring her aboard the ship. Uh, no. Reva, Absolutely um, not. you've got things up and booted. Uh, you see poking his head into his Raymond Zam. Hey, uh, we're still waiting on a couple jib jobbers to. Hi, Raymond. Hi, hey, waiting on a couple jib jobbers to get here. Just wanted to know because I see the engines are booting up. Right, what's that? ECA. Um, should be here in the next five to ten. Okay, five yes, ten no. Okay. <laughs> uh, are we are we are we expecting a hot exit? Uh, mm, medium heat. I think a medium medium okay. rare. You see, he goes and opens a little jib job cabinet and takes a laser rifle out and just goes, "All right, uh, I'll be posted up just to kind of provide cover for the jib job." <laughs> um, <laughs> and, I'm a man that's good at his job. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, all of you rushing in, you converge. Barry, you're there with the drone in your arms. Margaret, Gunny. Uh, uh, Skip, you're like hovering in there, waiting for them to round the corner, and the princeps and Sid on Aurora Nevins all converge as boom, an enormous explosion, like the kind you saw at the Brigader's Beer. Hot pleasure putty raining down on all of you. As it touches your skin, it feels so good. Oh my God. Um, Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Um, oh my God. Oh. Um, <laughs> Skip. Hey, I've heard this about horseback riding. <laughs> um, Skip, at, at that moment that you got the credit card, you see, you had a 22 perception, right? Yes. On the ticker underneath, the Reuters News ticker, uh, you also read wanted. 
Norman Skip Takamori for the murder of 12 sisters of the cosmic veil in the Hecatoncieri's asteroid cluster. Oh, my name is Norman Skip Takamori. <laughs> <laughs> um, you all converge. As you converge, you see putty mongers fleeing from the exploding putty factory. And converging behind you are a group of wreck poles on scooters saying, stop, return that royal blue mastiff at once. Uh, and you see uh, also coming from the other way, a squadron of Amerikadian space brigaders going, Norman Takamori, you're under arrest. I'm gonna need everyone here to roll initiative. <laughs> we have uh, Sundry Sydney astride Aurora Nebens, the royal blue mastiff with the princeps Zort hanging to the side. Now uh, that I've seen her, she's coming on the ship. <laughs> what a beautiful dog. Sid, what are you up to? Okay. And you're all, Aurora Nebens acts on your turn as well. Um, what is Aurora's movement? I've been riding her, so I'm probably getting a good feel for it. Uh, yeah, actually, give me an animal handling check. Okay, I still have enhanced android. Yes, yes, yes. You got this. Come on, crit baby, please. All right, uh, 14. You what sense, first of all, then? Aurora Nebens is fully hairless. You think that this, dog may be partially aquatic. You also, uh, it has a speed of 50. Uh, so Aurora Nebens can haul ass if need be. Um, you also think that you've seen, the fastest you've seen Aurora move is when she is rushing to strike somebody. You think that she has like an adrenal gland that picks up speed <laughs> if she is going to lunge at someone. Uh, my explosives fighting style, I can throw a grenade as a bonus action. Correct. But that, I could also throw one as an action, right? Yeah, absolutely. Great. So what I want to do is I want to just like take Aurora like 10 feet forward to get within range because I have a 55 um, range to throw the grenade. You're going to roll for, you see the Amerikanians bearing down. Uh, you see that one of the lieutenants says, Takamori took to the air. The androids with him riding some kind of beautiful dog. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you got that right about beautiful. They all like, agree the dog is beautiful. <laughs> I give her like, a good like dog slap. Uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's her response to everything, but it didn't seem bad. Um, uh, so. And then is Aurora gonna be able to get through this gaggle of pleasure putty people? Um, yeah. Okay. For sure. Um, she will really be able to get through. Oh no. What about, could she leap this little Ooh. chasm? On a successful animal handling, for sure. Oh, I only have a plus one to animal handling. Oh God, but you we'll have call advantage. It, we'll call it a DC 15. I, I like really haven't hit that. <laughs> I can't lose Aurora and I can lose the pleasure putty girls. Okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... You're probably it's just gonna run them over. Give me the animal handling check to see if you can leap the pleasure putty people. <laughs> just... I believe in you. <laughs> It's a 12. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, bruh, bruh, and you kick your skates into Aurora and go, yeah, and Aurora hunkers down and blasts through the pleasure putty people, um, dealing. Oh, um, no. uh, and now here's the thing. Normally it would just knock everybody prone, but because Aurora Nevins is covered head to toe in spikes, um, uh, all those pleasure putty people take five points of damage. Not enough to kill them. Yeah. Um, but all those pleasure, they go, they go, please, you gotta help. Ah! And we this weasel. And grab Gunny. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you're gonna, are you gonna lean down and grab Gunny yeah, with your, yeah. okay. So that's actually your, so you've used a bonus action and you mm -hmm. have your object interaction to yeah. pick Gunny up. You throw. Yeah. More than an object. Aurora moves a hundred feet down the track. At a hundred feet, does Aurora see an enemy? That's the question. Tailspire, let's go ahead and move Aurora, Gunny, and Sid <laughs> down the track. These poor pleasure putty people. Maybe it'll knock some sense into Actually, them. I am gonna make a quick deck save because one of those pleasure buddy people is literally adjacent edge. to the opening. <laughs> oh no. That's a nat five. Oh no. <laughs> one pleasure buddy, <laughs> and uh, uh, it's off to the side. I, I absolutely lie and I'm like, I actually think she was a pretty high ranking one. So probably kind of more of a villain in the MLS game. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yes, from here, Aurora can definitely see enemies. Um, Aurora has line of sight on the Repo Reapers, 
and on UFTP agents. Uh, Aurora has the aggressive feature, which means that she can take a bonus action dash oh, yeah. uh, towards a hostile creature. Is Aurora taking a move action towards a hostile uh, adversary? I think she's gonna sit tight for now because we got we got uh, incredible, money with us. amazing turns. And another attack is going to be incoming. I'm going to need dexterity saving throws from both of you and Aurora Nebitz. Okay. And it's not How okay. dare you. It's not an attack. It is not dexterity an attack. Dexterity saving right. throw. Here's Allie, me. For you. 22 for Sid. For you, I'm going to roll with this new Thank shiny you. dice you gave me. You know what? Aurora uh, looks like this color. Come on, Aurora. That Aurora. is a 22. Yes! yes. I yes. Like yes. yes. Well, I like my dice. <laughs> 22. Uh, 22 for me, and then uh, 12 on the dice for Aurora. You see that uh, one of the Repo Reapers was like this wild, he's got like multiple piercings in his cheek and lips. Wait. Heads up, I can do, I can add a D4 to a roll of someone that I can see, line of sight. Can you, I see Aurora? You can see Aurora okay. and Evans. Go ahead and roll that D4. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, you yeah, no, it. go for it. Okay. Four! Yes! 16 yes. is the DC! Yes, 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 um, yes, yes, yes. So, Margaret, you're on your phone and you look up and see that Aurora has no idea that something is incoming. That's what is not it? right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me text Aurora. Um, you see, Slack Aurora. <laughs> um, you see that Aurora's collar has a weird little orb in it and it goes, bling, bling, and Aurora goes, <laughs> um, and all of you make the same. Um, I'm going to use the bonus action, Aurora's bonus action, to uh, move towards the hostile repo men. Hell yeah. Um, and But then I'm going to then use Aurora's movement to basically get, I think I'm going to go past this buddy person again. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> but while I'm going by, I'm going to uh, go after... Uh, like over my shoulder, I'm gonna shoot these repo men and also throw a grenade at them. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, yeah. so you're gonna use, so, but let me be clear, you're gonna use Aurora's aggressive ability to get that bonus action move. Yeah. Go ahead and give me an animal handling check because she gets really excited. Come on, girl. 19 on the dice, a 19 and a 17, so plus one, 20, dirty 20. So you use this thing girl, of like- I think we're getting better together. <laughs> um, yeah, you see that she gets really excited, like, okay, go get them. And she, pow, this like adrenal burst of uh, uh, this just powerful <laughs> charging gallop. Um, and then you yank hard to the left, yeah. pow, uh, head moves to the side. And then basically once we're like mid her movement, I want to mm -hmm. throw a grenade at the three of them, I'm just gonna do, um, cause I'm out of all the cool ones, I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna save the stun. Uh, I'm gonna do just a regular plasma grenade at the three of them. Hell yeah. Uh, and then I'm gonna shoot one of them. So yeah, Aurora Nebbins is taking 150 feet of movement, <laughs> 150 feet of movement uh, down the dock. Give me one other animal handling check as well. Uh, this time, Aurora bounds over the putty monger. Yes! <laughs> and then I think since my AC is so boosted now, because I'm going to be able to shield and get up super high, I think I'm going to like make sure that I'm covering, uh, or like you know, kind of flip around. Okay. Uh, Aurora Nebbins is bounded. You can see the ramp of the worst right ahead of you. Um, you see uh, Raymond looking down and being like. Way to go, incredible work out there. We're waiting on a few other people. <laughs> um, and that's Johnny, it. Is it wrong that the Jib Jab people are not my priority right now? <laughs> right, I'm gonna roll concentration on my enhanced Android. Nat 20. Hell yeah. Nat 20 to concentrate on Keem. I'm in the flow state with my <laughs> baby. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm gonna go ahead and say that you and, you see that Aurora and Evans goes <laughs> Solid, in its solid yellow eyes, you see trace flecks of beryllium crystal. This creature, <laughs> this type of dog must have grown up on asteroids and has something similar to your crystalline consciousness and it bonds with you at this moment. <laughs> I just want to say for the record, I did not seek out a familiar in this campaign. <laughs> the dice made this happen. <laughs> um, yeah. I love you. 
<laughs> that is the Repo Reapers. That's their turn. Huge, like, Space Rangers, like, laser rifle. <laughs> um, it hits you square in the jaw. <laughs> Lithium. Endless consciousness. <laughs> Aurora Nebbins. Licks your face. Something you've never known that was possible for you to do. And you hear a voice say, okay, well, my idea for this droid is that she can do anything. <laughs> you are back at one hit point with your turn ahead of you. That's it. I wasn't made to do everything. I was made to do anything. Yeah. 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 Come to and I huck a my final stun uh, grenade at Jan and the lizard. Oh my God! Okay, <laughs> hello. Just just popping up with a grenade. <laughs> in oh Unbelievable! <laughs> Un That's actually like kind of rocking me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I truly, I actually truly can't believe it. What everything a, to anything wow. is very um, beautiful. <laughs> Uh, with a triumphant roar, an, uh, Aurora Nevins rears up. <laughs> um, you hucked the grenade. Um, this is absolutely gonna be Box of Doom. What, what are you doing? I really freaking hate this. I wanna fucking bring Aurora aboard the ship and get oh, out of here. But I told Gunny I was gonna try and Just save yell at them. Fucking jib Give jobbers. them a help action and fucking walk onto the ship. No, this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. This is what I'm gonna do. You said that there's like a crystalline shit in Aurora, so yeah. I could cast Enhanced Android on her, right? I'll allow it. I'm going to double her carrying capacity by casting Server Motor. I'm gonna fucking hop in the ship. I'm gonna point out those bad warfare Whitney's. Uh, try and use her bonus action to get her with uh, to get her to go 50 feet, and then have her hold her action for the jib jobbers to hop on. Aurora and Evans wow. can get all the way to the jib jobbers and ready in action. Yeah. Aurora Nevins goes. <laughs> um, and you see one of the people says, "Oh, okay, transpose coming." Um, and. Um, I guess I wasn't kidding when I said we got a shuttle. Amazing. Aurora ready's in action. <laughs> Then I hop on the ship because I have not enough hit points. That is exactly what you need to do because those Warfare Whitney's have those chain guns and they would have absolutely lit you up. As it is, you duck onto the ship. So they're going to take full movement. Um, so the Warfare Whitney's going to take full movement. Over which the oil is slick? Over the oil slick. So we're gonna look up oil Aurora slick. Aurora blades and if oil slicks. If I slick. lose Aurora yeah. in this, I will wipe Jib Job from this fucking ship. <laughs> Get on there. The stakes have never been higher. Um, the Jib Job employs, with its beryllium enhancement, uh, Aurora and Evans kneels down. 10 graphic designers slash screenwriters board this royal blue mastiff. It is choked with people being occasionally stabbed by the horrifying spines of this space dog. Do some of them take out Kindles to read during the commute? During the commute, yeah. all these commuters get They're on board. They're all reading the body keeps the yeah, All right. aboard. <laughs> on Sid's turn, everyone's gonna be aboard Sweet. the ship. Uh, I can do it right now, because I'm gonna use the formation style on Aurora Nebbin. So I'm gonna run out um, <laughs> and uh, use the formation thing so that they move with me as a bonus action, and mm -hmm. then I'm going to run towards the ship. Um, I'm gonna say, What's, what's your movement again? Uh, so my movement, I'm gonna take a dash and then they're allowed to use as much movement as they have. Incredible. I'm gonna say Aurora Nebbins grabs you in her jaws. Bear, you're like, get on the ship. Uh, Aurora grabs you full of uh, jib job workers and leaps aboard the ship. Uh, all of the jib jobbers are aboard the ship on Barry's turn. Pinged on your smash and grab app. Oh, okay. And you see that there is a review. Let it be a lesson to the enterprising smash and grab employer that looks can be deceiving and manners even more so despite their rough and ready exterior, overactive appetites and the neuroses read <laughs> crystal crystalosis. Crystalosis of the crew's hard drinking android, the prolgers of the worst proved the irony of the <laughs> Nom de guerre. Nom de guerre. And how, given a scant few marbecks to make good on our crooked caper, the captivating crew took my simple request 
humiliate my rival by killing her dog and instead delivered poetry. <laughs> They stole the dog, which ate the rival, and then killed a completely unrelated dog for reasons unclear to me. That is what I call service, and that is what I call professionalism, and that is how you get five stars and a 20% tip. For anyone bemoaning the scarcity of good prolgers, rest easy, the worst is yet to come. Oh. Oh. Unfold it right there. Five stars and a 5K tip. Yes! Zorch is up here. Aurora Nebbins is also up here. <laughs> um, <laughs> being chill. Um, give me, uh, give me an animal handling check uh, with advantage. Nat twenty again. <laughs> it's meant to be. Go ahead. To do you, it. you will I never know. roll animal handling again. <laughs> you will never for Aurora Nebbins. <laughs> for Aurora Nebbins, you will never roll it again because this is crazy. And also take expertise in animal handling. <laughs> Oh my God. This dog oh my freaking God. loves you. Man, I'm Aurora... gonna be a zookeeper. Um, uh, Aurora Nebbins is curled in. Uh, Aurora Nebbins seems to like coil, much like a ferret or weasel does. It is coiled kind of around Sydney, wherever Sid goes on the ship. <laughs> and... I whisper, we gotta get you two pairs of roller skates. <laughs> it's your Aww. service hound. <laughs> uh, can I psychically check in with Aurora Nevins? Because I feel like I can communicate yeah. with anything. Just yeah. to see how they're doing. Uh, they had a big day. She had a big day. Um, Aurora Nevins, you you commune with Aurora Nevins' mind um, and see uh, just a tremendous amount of predatory energy to hunt and kill. Great. Um, specifically, <laughs> it looks like the main food source for this creature is terrapins, uh, sort of oh, soft-shelled turtles on its home world. <laughs> so it really loves to destroy any kind of turtle Got adjacent. It. So, huh? so I, I, uh, I convey this to Sid specifically and be like, you know, maybe it's just like a play thing. Like they, if you could get them a toy, like one of those toys that you put uh, mm. peanut butter inside. So get a turtle like shell and put meat. peanut butter inside. Yeah, you see a lot of like exterior fangs begin to make sense. This thing has a kind of wild muscle in its jaw to like crack through armor plating. Uh, Miss Margaret, as part of my promotion, can we have a terrapin allowance? <laughs> oh. um, here's an exciting thing. Mm -hmm. The position of unpaid intern has recently been vacated. <laughs> Oh. So it is available if that would be of interest to you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, elbow Aurora. Get in there, girl. I see. Aurora goes. <laughs> <laughs> I step in, Aurora. I'm so sorry. We, you will not be our unpaid intern. Um, Why well, feel should Aurora be the unpaid intern, and we can pay Zorch for their chef? Raymond looks over and says. Oh, well, excellent. So I'm, I'm happy to, and you also see coming off the ship, Aurora Nebbins. <laughs> oh, um, I'm sorry, is she just loose? I thought we kept her in a space. Just, can I do like some kind of like She slips under the door, kind of like a cockroach. I know that she <laughs> is no aquatic. Just yeah. air. Is she looking like dry? Like You see, it's nighttime right now, so it's actually quite cold out uh -huh. here. Um, the desert, desert world night, it gets pretty damn freezing. Um, but you see Aurora already looks like. Can I, um, would you, would you mind if I let her into the, into the water system? Is she going to eat me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> because if I go into my psychic drone, I am entirely defenseless. Okay, Aurora, why don't you come with me and we'll find a spa. <laughs> Just drop her off at a spa. We, we, had to find, we had to find some turtles too. Yeah. I know, I've got terrapins on my shopping yeah. list. Oh, and I have a couple of things before we leave. And I would like to um, maybe minor hologram one of those little um, uh, helping dog vests onto Aurora. <laughs> It's just a, a thunder, hologram. A thunder it thunder thunder. <laughs> yeah, so she can go into like a uh, cafe. Yeah. I think this is going to be a problem in Boston, but. <laughs> I just want to make sure, just cover our yeah. bases. Yeah. Incredible. Uh, so you have Aurora in a hologrammed uh, help vest, which Aurora seems to appreciate. She's <laughs> She looks happy to have a little help vest on. Um, Do I see any oases with terrapin in them? If you want to go look for terrapins, uh, give me a survival check. Survival check. I've got our eight survival too. I'll help you look for some turtles please. to sacrifice. Oh, I got a two. Damn. 
Plus one. 21. Hell yeah. I got a three. The three? You have no idea where to look. Barry, you've had some like, some like wilderness survival missions in the past. I can find you some turtles. <laughs> Just saying that on a desert planet. Yeah. <laughs> me and the berries have had to crack a few open. <laughs> At first it was tough, but you, you get used to it. Wow. Um, so Barry, are you? do you want to commit some time to go turtle hunting? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So we kind of, as you guys are figuring stuff out, Barry, you're like full stealth mode over in the edge of town. Where are these turtles? <laughs> um, uh, you start smelling, there's a, there's a familiar smell for turtles coming from like a, like a dumpster, it looks like. Dumpster turtles. Uh, <laughs> crack it. As you open it, like cockroaches, about a couple dozen tortoises. <laughs> um, <laughs> things are disgusting. <laughs> Get in the back. <laughs> uh, cool. Give me, give me an athletics check versus a group of tortoises. Can I, can I help? Yeah, just skip. You're going, you're going turtle hunting with Barry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I just make an athletics? Yeah, give me an athletics check. Uh, twenty-two. Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hit a tortoise real hard. Um, so you, you guys see, these are, they're kind of a, uh, they're clearly designed to uh, fade in, like camouflage around. So they're kind of a dusty indigo color. And they have curling ram's horns on them. So there's a couple, you grab like four or five big horn tortoises. <laughs> Um, these guys are fast, man. You gotta really <laughs> jump to get these dudes. Um, they turtles. <laughs> oh yeah, you see they skitter out of the trash uh, and like go under, there's like a little sort of sandy opening at the foundation of a building and they just sort of skitter under the house. Um, turtles are skittering. Is that for me? Oh, a bunting so turtles. <laughs> Oh, you can Aurora. probably us, right? Aurora, can I, can I, like, can someone help me put it on Aurora's back? Uh, yeah, I can psychically. I'm strength. I can eight. use <laughs> psychic throw okay. to throw it. Onto throw a gun. You, okay. Yeah, you like hover this guy. It's are you. I think you all see Reva do whatever the aquatic version of sweating is. <laughs> My, I am in a drone, but the sweat is coming out of the. The like ambient dust down. in the shop. You see that the d dust is normally sort of like floating. Ambient. There's not too much wind right now, as the gun moves up, you see that the dust within a couple inches of the gun just gravitationally moves and settles on the gun, which is like how <laughs> dense and heavy it is. Um, Aurora, it goes on her back and she goes. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Is this, oh. is this worth it? Is this worth it? <laughs> yeah, it was it's big fine. Barry. Oh yeah, can oh, I yeah, call can Barry? Can we call Barry to Yeah, come can I call us? him and tell him where we are? Uh, sure, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, uh, uh, Barry, you have a sack of tortoises on your back. <laughs> um, you, you come in, you see Aurora go. Hey, here you go, girl. Uh, <laughs> grab, grab a tortoise. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The blood, blood, violent, horrifying. <laughs> You see, there's this uh, heavy-looking slug pistol. Uh, uh, Barry, I dream of to go back to the ship. Can I let? Uh, I'll supervise Aurora, and can I let Aurora go around in the? Oh yes, system? Oh. I'm happy to let Aurora in as long as I am awake and able to run away. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you see, uh, you see that there's like one of the big horn tortoises got out and is running on the outside of a water tube, and Aurora's on the inside of the water tube, going. <laughs> 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 Tire her out. She won't attack you. <laughs> Can I like coo to Aurora and kind of be like, right now we need to be quiet. Incredible. Um, you see that, uh, yeah, she. Oh, I was like in uh, Rescuers Down Under, the lizard. <laughs> the lizard, okay. Joanna. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you see that she is suspended on just her like claw tips on her front and back legs and is, she's not even moving her like elbows. It's just. Just with her fingers like low oh, to the ground. Right. She's up to the challenge. <laughs> uh, you're now running around the ship. Aurora Nebbins gets excited. There's so many tortoises on the ship. Um, yes! Uh, Are they like clinging to the side like barnacles? Are people <laughs> giving the casino a bad rating because we have <laughs> like, a tortoise, tortoise infestation? infestation. Um, um, no, we put them in cute little cocktail waitress oh, outfits. Yeah. We can race then... the tortoises. Yeah. Something else to bet on. <laughs> Because um, you can only do uh, casinos for charity around here. 
oh, Uncle Bob is a big fan of an honest game of cards if we're raising money for charity. Right, oh, of you know what? Yeah. 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 Children of big the berry Hey, that's our, that's our fault. Why don't you give those chips back? Uh, we actually, unless you want to hold on to them. That's we right. actually re we just have to let go of the chips. We re-home rejected animals from Bob's fan, Animal Land. You home rejected animals. Yeah, Aurora. <laughs> Go ahead and give me deception with advantage. And dozens of turtles. Yeah, can I wrangle a turtle? Mm -hmm. Now oh. 20. <laughs> he goes, oh, 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 I don't like dogs. You see, he gets back. I rolled in that one on my turtle wrangling roll. <laughs> yeah, you see, he gets back. Uh, uh, yeah, Ronnie steps way back and says, get the fucking door back on the ship. Okay, okay. Now you understand why it is so necessary to invest in this. You're going to like the changes. I awesome. promise you. There's a very dangerous dog on board. Yeah, I don't like dogs. That's, yeah, but it's we'll, not, we'll, we'll seal his shot. She's we'll actually seal his really nice. It's actually you, kind of perfect. Here, no I, one goes on yeah. inside. Mm -hmm. Can I rip the leg off the terrapin and hand it to him? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. We, we hold her, we hold her back. We hold her back. No, God. I mercy like killed it. the turtle. No, no, it doesn't like it. It's in that thing, right? Androids love to kill turtles. I heard that thing about that turtle test that androids <laughs> take. Turtle upside down. Turtle upside down kind of thing. They're like cockroaches. They're everywhere. We've gotten immune to it, but that was the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that was, yeah. Terrifying. You know what? I you know what? I'm truly watching watching you watching you reach in with your gun hand and saw a leg. Can you make leg. Him remember that? Can, like, can you yeah, make yeah, forget please, that? Let's just run away. We see he goes, all right, well, hey, it's nice not to be here about it. You're gonna like Amazing. Um so uh uh that's incredible. So that's the that's the docking fees taken care of. Uh Zorch is going to stay on the ship, also to keep an eye on Gnosis, and leaves Gnosis in the reactor uh, okay. area with Aurora Nevins hanging out. Um, the reactor is one of the safer places because the vibrations from it uh, keep the bighorn tortoises out of there. They don't like it. <laughs> and um, uh, <laughs> I love how many tortoises. Are okay, there. I'm going to need you to roll initiative for Aurora Nevins if you'd be Yay! so kind. Um, okay, she got 14, but I don't know what she adds to it. I don't have sex. Yeah, what's her. what's Aurora's dex like? Uh, oh, like, exactly. Aurora's probably good. Aurora's dex, oh, actually, Aurora's dex is only plus one. Oh, oh. strong. Strong, she's 18, a strong girl. Six, oh, so 15. Uh, or so, you see Barry says, oh, phase walking through the door, huh? Bing, bing. Uh, oh, shit! Uh, and Aurora Nevis can attack first. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what the, what to add here. So you're gonna add, it's plus six and it's two bite attacks. Okay, the first one is not gonna hit unless a nine hits. Does not? Come on, we're gonna that. Oh, oh my God, she was it rolling that whole time? It was rolling yeah. that whole um, time. I'm gonna need, a uh, Barry Nine's gonna go into the zone. I'm gonna need a uh, athletics check. Adding You're adding plus four to this. What is he doing? 18. That's a little spicy thing. Um, you see uh, Barry 9 does not hurt. Your wording was the hallucination runs into the escape pods, yes. correct? Um, you feel that is very cleverly worded because what happens next is this. Barry 9 grabs Aurora Nevins, does not hurt her, hurls her out of the escape out. pod, closes the door Which and says, now. thanks for the ride, fish. Boom, and the escape pod rockets off the worst into the sky. I'm try to take advantage of the situation. Can I just like, kind of like, maybe put up a baby gate to get Aurora Nevins and this creature used to each other? <laughs> put up help. a baby gate uh, to no get them used I'll get Aurora on a, on, a, on a leash. Aurora Nevins immediately <laughs> walks over the baby just gate. Just close the door so they can smell each other under the door. <laughs> yeah. Trying to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Grappled with the stuff. Yeah. In a way. I'm using psychic push pull to play catch with Aurora Nevins in the background. <laughs> just throwing turtles back and forth. Oh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> one of those conversations I'm, where we're just both like talking. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. And just yeah. an insane thing is going on. In the <laughs> <laughs> I'm it, ripping it, off a turtle. <laughs> 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 you're always oh, ripping Reva. the turtles off. Reva. Um, yeah. You see, there's very, uh, you're, you're getting foam rolled out in the corner as you see Reva uh, <laughs> swimming through the tubes <laughs> alongside Aurora Nevins. Evans, who's chasing these sort of like psychically prostrate tortoises. Um, uh, amazing. The jib jobbers honestly have never looked happier. Um, there's a couple others have like been like, oh my God, it's a dog office? And there's like a couple other dogs here now because Aurora <laughs> Evans is here. Um, 
like, the other dogs I'm like, cold. <laughs> I'm always being like, Aurora, don't eat the other dogs. We got to keep her fed with terrapins or she will eat the other dogs. <laughs> so yes, you get 600 credits from Jib Job. They are so happy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> they are so happy here. Also, I'm really good with animals. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's amazing. How did that come up? That wasn't even a pit, part of the pitch for you. Well, I just really worked it with this really nasty dog that I thought was cute and everyone else thought was really, you know, I could bring her in here. You want me to bring her in Yes. Here? <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, you see Alma fully weeping just goes, <laughs> um. <laughs> and I just, you know, I just, I, I don't know. It just happened the same way as I suddenly had consciousness. It just, something just, clicked in me. Um, Aurora Nevins. Uh, yeah, should we bring Aurora to the fight? I don't, I'm, I think she would be very valuable to Okay, us. okay, I'm just, I'm like feeling like there's probably gonna be some psychics who maybe distort her mind to then attack us. Well, a lot of psychics she's so can't, sweet. she's so sweet. A lot of psychics, if you're she's at really a, a certain she's so level she's a beautiful of, dog. of she's beautiful. wisdom or intelligence cannot affect you because you have no idea what's going on. She's got a minus four to intelligence, so hopefully. <laughs> <Money. laughs> All right, we'll bring her then. Yeah. Aurora. <laughs> oh, my rip off a terrible. Oh, oh my God, God. why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Yeah. Feed the whole thing. The whole Just feed thing. the whole God, thing. So so very so quickly, Mercy kills it. <laughs> it's like in tandem. Whenever we're in the gunner thing and she feeds it, I shoot it in the head as soon as the leg is going to go off. <laughs> Um, I, I don't like I don't like dead. doing this, but ultimately this is I'm the angel of mercy. Um, <laughs> one more thing to ask about, and yeah. I haven't found anything about this. Is there any sort of um, armor for um, service animals? Uh, yeah, there's a couple different types of armor available for service animals. You could for absolutely Aurora. get Aurora Neb and some armor here. Um, I am. <laughs> Out of money. <laughs> how, yeah, much how, much much how much is it? How much is it? I have 900 credits left. I have 3,500. I have 3,000. There, there's the best stuff available here is going to give disadvantage on stealth. Do we go if for it a, with Aurora? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. definitely. Get her. Is yeah, there, I think if we already have people uh, with going disadvantage. disadvantage with yeah. Is there okay. a way to get my drones AC up as well? Like, yes. So they have they have a suit of armor uh, here that with that with that 20 percent markup that'll be. Uh, 3,000 altogether for composite armor. And what is that? Um, AC 15 AC? plus Aurora, plus two from that's Aurora's decks. So that would give... 17. Yeah, 17. It would, give, it would, give it would take her from 12 to 17. That's what I... I that's yeah. what I'm wearing. Okay. How much uh, is it? 3,000, you said? 3,000 altogether. 3,000, okay. I, you got all right. it from me. Great. Yeah, do all this now. I'm going to ask for Sid's permission. I would like to affix five sentry turrets to uh, Aurora Neppins. If you'll allow. <laughs> um, Hell yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Aurora, are you okay with some sentry? Okay. <laughs> Is this so that she can fly? Uh, no, these will be uh, five sentry turrets that if anyone comes within 10 feet of her, they'll shoot on, or she comes within 10 feet of them, the, the turrets will shoot on them. So I just put these five globes, just kind of stick them in between the quills. Uh, uh, to you can affix two to Aurora Nebbins. Uh, before the amount of space, like she, she counts as like a 10 foot square. Great. Can you so put I, one on me? I put one on Barry, <laughs> <laughs> two on Aurora Nevins. <laughs> what did Aurora Nevins get for C? Oh, Aurora Nevins is definitely gonna be down though, even with half, yeah. Aurora Nevins is also down. Sid, okay. you are back up. Uh, also give me a death save for Aurora Nevins. <clears throat> Uh, Barry, you med pack leap straight up. Sid, as you leap back up, Amazing. you hear. And feeling your hand moving, Aurora, with one hit point, full like Mononoke wolf, like gets up, blood oozing between her razor sharp teeth. Um, Get him, baby. Both you and Aurora get turns. 
She's back okay. up at one at the start of her turn. Okay, so I have moved my character to hide in one of these things, and now Aurora Nebbins is gonna go after the stunned one. Give me an acrobatics <gasps> check for Aurora Nebbins. Uh, I got a 10. Got a 10, exactly. Okay. So you see, she looks up and just, <laughs> it's like, uh-oh, looks like someone needs to tell that beautiful royal blue mastiff that that's not a real bunny. She doesn't seem to care, folks. She looks hungry. Ah! Uh, she reaches up. She can go ahead and take attacks. Can I just have her drag it yeah, off throw it and off throw the it off Oh, the shit. Just pick it up and throw throw the bunny off the platform? Yeah. Right. You see, she looks hungry. Do you give her the command? She, yeah. yeah. Uh, I say take out the trash, baby. <laughs> um, all the cameras zoom in on you. <laughs> Uh, uh, go ahead and give me a free performance with advantage here as well. Um, <laughs> okay, that's gonna be uh, 21. A 21, take out the trash baby. Uh oh, looks like we got a little bit of sass here from our resident sundry Sydney. Folks, she loves dogs and hates rabbits. You see, uh, Aurora Nevin picks up and it looks at you and like wiggles her butt. <laughs> and I was like, let's play fetch. Ah, uh, you see, throws the bunny, the bunny sails off the side of the dais oh and falls God. endlessly <sighs> through space. Folks, now that's what I call a well-trained dog. You can tell Aurora and Evans wanted to eat that bunny and eat that bunny bad. <laughs> hey, you're not wrong, Jimmy. I have a dog and I can't stop her from attacking my neighbors. <laughs> and you see, uh, Brutus the Corn Broody charges forward. This first one is coming for Aurora and Evans. What's Aurora and Evans' current armor class? 17. <laughs> Um, uh, do they hit? Uh, they do. <laughs> uh, That's interesting. Let's see poker face. Yeah. Let's see what they I'm going to put the other pair of sunglasses on. See how much damage they do. 26 points of damage to Aurora Nevis. She had one hit point, she's down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my action to get back on the stage. This is going to be my last turn. There's no way I survive after this. So I just look around and I say, it's been nice knowing all of you. Um, I'm gonna bonus action med pack Aurora Nebbins. Incredible. <laughs> Aurora Nebbins miraculously back up. To, uh, so Ooh. she gets some hit points and I'm going to use her to uh, basically throw Reva up to the plinth. Okay. <laughs> Throw, okay, Reva. Basically, I need to get Reva like 10 feet closer Reva's to the plane. Reva's old body? Or Reva's, Reva's old, old body. body. Reva's Copy old that. Body. Cool. Yes, yes, yes. Gotcha. That's so so, so Aurora up. will do that. Throw it 10 feet closer so that I can use a 15 foot cone from Reva's old body onto the plinth. Okay. And then I take <laughs> out the remote detonator that I bought for full <laughs> price at Plugs. <laughs> and I unleash <laughs> something called a charge fragmentation, a device used to blow holes in larger constructs and structures. This is what I, this is what I spent a minute installing into Reva's old drone. Am I getting Ocean's <laughs> Eleven on my own fucking when, show? When what the fuck is happening? He read the book, Brennan. When and by we, I mean just Emily. <laughs> Emily read the book. Do you want to know more? <laughs> Do you want to know more, Brennan? <laughs> when detonated, the breaching charge explodes in a 15-foot cone. Each creature within the cone must make a DC 14, 16 for me. A dexterity saving throw, taking 20 D4 kinetic damage on a failed save. Objects, structures, and other surfaces have disadvantaged to the saving throw. Oh my God. How did you know there'd be a blimp in this fight? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I'm fucking ruined. <laughs> Every <laughs> Reva's old body just goes flying. Right? Everyone send, everyone send your kids to camp. Forty-four damage <laughs> to the plinth. Give me a, a performance with advantage. <laughs> just a pit of spikes. Already a nineteen on one of them, so uh, twenty-two. <laughs> Uh, you land, med pack. You see the crowd, just med packing Aurora Nebbins. The crowd goes fucking nuts. <laughs> We're not gonna let the doggy die today, Chip. No, we are not. They'll put you in jail for that, Jimmy. <laughs> um, you see that Aurora Nebbins grabs the droid. Time slows down, crowd going nuts. You see a group of little green uniformed galactic girl guides kind of chewing on their fingers. They know something's up in this moment. Aurora bounding. Jump from one to the other. Plinth rotates. 
It is Plinth's turn next, and a fifth level psychic power is coming all of your way <laughs> on Plinth's turn. <laughs> um, you hear Jimmy the Snout in the commentator's box go, Chip, it looks like a bit of bad strategy here. I think the team's android thinks that the psychic's mind is still in the old droid. Oh my God, do you believe it? In the droid's body, there's a thermal. And <laughs> in all of the explosive ruptures from Gunny's fireball in the riddled cracks, from the rotary cannon, the detonator made to destroy structures. Boom! <laughs> you, Margaret, in your mind here. <laughs> Folks, a priceless artifact and a real son of a bitch is no more! The Acme Ashman Gunner Channel has done the impossible yeah. today! Plinth is destroyed! <laughs> Legendary um, action. Okay. End of that turn. Brutus kicks Aurora Nevins off the dais. <gasps> Fuck. Uh oh, looks like that corn construct is tired of that dog popping back up. Sorry. You know I'm done. sorry, I didn't mean to say the amount of money we were gonna make. Uh, uh Margaret. The that's gonna be you. <laughs> um I just gotta be like, all right, peace! And then I'm gonna use my uh motivator boost to try to get down underneath Aurora. Shield. Misses. Oh, okay. Um, oh, God. You can hear, oh no, it looks like the android's off the side of the platform, folks. Boom. Uh, it looks like Brutus knocked you off. You go down. And um, then I'm gonna drop the concentration from motivator boost to cast enhanced droid on myself to double my carrying capacity. Um, this ax comes up, hits your shield, sends you off. Um, and your motivator boost dies, and you see those like engines come off in you, and you hear, oh God, it looks like Brutus took out the motivator boost. That's a direct, what is that? No, it's a different engine coming online. And when your rocket boots hit, you go up, and the crowd looks down. We can't see her, get a camera, get a camera on Sundry Sydney. Folks, boom, you get under, and like Superman, these roller skates, white hot, uh -huh. White hot roller skates with twin jets of flame as you Superman this enormous spined dog as it comes above the lip of the dais. <laughs> Folks, Sundry Sydney has saved the dog! The crowd goes fucking nuts. People are punching each other in the stands, just losing their minds. Nothing comes between a mother and her daughter. <laughs> Folks, this droid can do anything, and this fight's not over yet! Okay, can I at least throw Aurora Nebins onto the dais. Uh, onto the the also, there is another thing strategically to consider here, which is if you get, if you take the attack of opportunity, but get farther than 15 feet away, he won't be able to use legendary actions on you. I cannot sustain an attack of opportunity. Okay, you huck Aurora Nebins safely onto the dais, oh. deposit her on the far side of one of these columns, like over here. Yeah. Um, cool. Uh, oh Gunny, that is your turn. Uh, level two, uh, you know, fucking, uh, <laughs> God, too much is happening. I can't talk anymore. Uh, there goes the, no I cannot keep that dice on the table. Uh, that's five, ten hit points for Sid, and then I'm gonna minor defibrillate uh, minor Aurora and Nevins. Aurora and Nevins? Oh! Um, Stabilize. So, uh, give it up for your champions, the Gunner Channel! <laughs> We will yeah. never be back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm cheering, but crying. Yeah. Yeah. We're all coming down from the Kubla cave. Yeah. 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 Just oh, the so so um, We're also doing some really crazy stuff. I can't tell you about it. You've probably heard about it, but it's, I mean, yeah. That's right. You did. You, I heard something about you, there was a dog show. You killed a woman, uh, or a dog killed a woman. You see, Aurora and Evans goes. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a that's yeah. Uh, you hear see someone else pull a, a cigar out of their uh, mouth and go, no laws about dogs in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, who the hell is that? <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you? You this wanna is, pet a is... dog? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah, All give right. me the dog. Well, you can't have it, you can pet it. Yeah. Ah, this thing's covered in nails. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, you see, 
you know, you walk downstairs that morning, go to the kitchen, George has got breakfast. Uh, you see Aurora and Evans is crunching on a big horn fortis happily and nuzzles Sid. Looks so, Aurora and Evans knows that they, she did good. She, she knows she did good. Um, you see Raymond uh, come over to you, Gunny, with a cup of coffee. Hey, thank you, my man. That sound effect is like you know, um, so you guys are perfectly hidden up on that ledge. You've like right. snuck through some air vents, gotten here. You see your ship in the place swarming with soldiers and a Vercadian droid. Also, Aurora Nebbins is out on the ramp waiting for you guys to get back. Aurora. Aurora needs I mean, I feel like we could stealth. On your turn, Zorch, the girl guides, and Zorch holding the hollow fract of Gnosis. Um, sprint, oh. uh, sprint halfway. So, can Aurora help them? Yeah, I was yeah, going to yeah. send Aurora, Aurora yeah. to. Uh, oh, I'll say, yeah, the, the, in that case, Zorch is riding Aurora Nebbins yeah. with Gnosis. Ha! Uh, and the girl guy starts sprinting. Uh, you see Stax has a huge cigar in her mouth with big bundles of credits and says, scream, everybody, we're getting the hell out of here! Um, and just uh, <laughs> makes for the ship. Um, uh, you took physical credits for Yeah, I like them physical. I want cold hard catch on a barrel head. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, can I almost can I almost make a wall of fire protecting the um protecting Aurora Nebbins and the people yes, coming absolutely. on? So like cool. that's what I do with it. You just start laying down suppressive wow. fire. Um uh, incredible. Um, Aurora Nebbins and the girl guides and the jib jobbers with Gnosis and Zorch rush up the ramp. Uh, suppressing fire comes down. You drop in. Uh, Zorch rushes to the bridge with Aurora Nebbins and says, I'm sorry I let the girl guides gamble with the holofract. They just seemed really sure. As you are moving through faster than light space, Aurora looks excited. Zorch is there with the holofract. You yeah. um, And you see Aurora Nebbins looks up at you, Sid, and goes, um, and just curls up uh, around your seat at the gunner station and tenses up, almost like she wants to leap out into space. There uh, is a moon roof. Aurora, you you give me the sign and, and I, I can just send you out there. You can breathe in space, right? Eat a turtle if you can. <laughs> okay, eat a turtle if you want to go into space. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, turtles going. All right. All the way um, down. So okay, I've got multiple options to try to do this. I'm gonna have to roll crazy well if I want to make this work. Okay, I think I'm going to. I think with Aurora Nevins, if I cast Motivator Boost on her, that means her speed is doubled, which would also would that also mean that her bonus action. Is also towards doubles. an aggressive. Yeah. Okay, nice. is 90 feet of movement enough to get me to his gunning thing? Yeah, I'm, that's what, so yes, absolutely. The ship, because I'm looking at the dimensions in space right now, absolutely, your your gunner okay. ports are not that, are just on other sides of the ship. So I don't even us. need to cast motivator boost then. I can just use Aurora Nevins to get there. Yes, Aurora sees trouble and goes, ah, and li lunges forward. You're riding this beautiful royal blue mastiff okay. uh, beautiful to the bus. other gunner pod. I have my cryo cell loaded up. Oh, I'm yeah. going to, with my action, attack twice, Barry nine. For the first time when you put on your sunglasses, another Barry puts on his sunglasses as well. And Barry, I gotta tell you, there's a few more Barrys here. I, I, I passed some sunglasses too. And I go, so. that's right, you fucking idiots. <laughs> 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 sunglasses on, I cast tactical advantage on Aurora Nevins, which means that she can get us there. She she has now a hundred speed because it doubles her speed. Incredible. So she can, and she can also take a second action to dash. So she can dash, then take that bonus action to get extra close mm -hmm. to get us right up to the thing. 50. And then I still have a bonus action and a reaction to throw some grenades once we can open that door. In Incredible. So all three of you, Sid, you are sandwiched in between two enormous clone men that are identical. We're all holding each other's waist. All holding each other's waist. I love this dog. Um, <laughs> you, it's a beautiful dog. Beautiful dog. Uh, and Her name is also Barry. Oh, wow. We're all Barry. <laughs> and Aurora Nebbins shoots through the ship. As you like pop an adrenal dart out of your gun arm. <laughs> ah, little Kubla King. This is safe for dogs, right? <laughs> uh, Aurora Nebbins rockets through the ship. 
getting you to the doors, getting you to the, uh, yeah, the locked so doors of the ship. I'm saving, I have a bonus action and a reaction to throw cryo grenades. But okay. if you two can muscle Plus open door. this door. Mm -hmm. Sweet, should we just, you think we can just pull this apart? Um, uh, do I think you can just pull this apart? Me and, me and two berries. Uh, uh, both in the zone. Both in the zone. Double dough berry. I'm just picturing you guys just like. <laughs> We're gonna roll 4d20. <laughs> Number 4020. It's I'm gonna call this a DC 27 okay. athletics check. Okay. A DC 27 athletics check. Do they both have to hit it? Does just one of them have to only hit it? Only one. Only one of these dice has to hit a DC okay. 27. So, so we have plus we have plus eleven. This is, you just need a 16 or higher on one of these dice. Sick as hell, dude. <gasps> I didn't do it. And neither did Barry No! Oh! Uh, Wait, you, but you guys have two attack actions. I think this is an ability check. So this is an action okay, ability check. Roar! As they try to open the door up. Okay, Aurora Nevins has an action. Can she try to do something? Aurora Nevins does not have an action because she she would have to use action, move, and a uh, bonus action. Because you because you guys were too. No, because she has uh, she essentially has haste on her, so she still has an extra um, action that she can use to attack. Oh, okay, she has great. A tactical advantage. Yes, absolutely. So go ahead and make an attack roll for Aurora Nevins. Okay. Um, I actually don't know. It doesn't say on her sheet what she adds to attack. Uh, uh, I ha there should be a sheet that has that, but if there's not, oh, I'll it, tell you right now, it's a plus six. Okay, so she had, oh, so she would have, she can't hit it then. She could crit. No, she could, she could hit it, she could hit it. Okay. It's it's more about how much damage. She got a 19. Okay, she hits the plus, door. Uh, plus six, so she, 25. She, ha she, hits the, she hits the door. Now you're gonna roll damage, which is 1d12. The door has eight, the problem is the damage threshold on the door. It's a steel blast door on a starship. It's a damage threshold of 15. Which means that she can hit it on an 11 or 12 on that D12. <laughs> she doesn't add anything to her D12. Oh, she oh, adds 15, right? Yeah, it adds a plus four. 12. Oh! Yeah! Unbelievable. Okay, uh, unbelievable. Okay, so she hit a 12 plus four, 16. The door only has 30 hit points, so she deals more than half of the door's health in you can, damage. You can and throw you a little guys, hole in there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, is there like enough of a hole that I could throw in cryo grenades? Yeah, you, cryo could, grenades? you, could, or you okay. could throw in some grenades. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonus action, because uh, it's per it, round, right? Yeah. This is still the same round. It's still the same round. Yeah, yeah so it's yeah. still the same round. That's good. Then yeah. we can yeah. add oh, it. Right. Yeah. I, I forgot that. Yeah. The... So uh, you guys are pulling the door <laughs> in that thing. Aurora and Evan sees like a weird little cranny where maybe there could be turtles and goes, <laughs> and you see just pull like in her weird external teeth. There's just like wires and <laughs> pulling them out a of the door. Weird little cranny where there may be turtles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. see, on our uh, ship, there probably are. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You see a bunch. The tortoises <laughs> rush out of the middle of the doors. Um, and then um, I'm gonna throw in two cryo grenades. Uh, hey, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna dislodge Gnosis. Can you send Aurora down here to uh, uh, bring her up to the whoever's gonna be boarding the, the yeah, ship? Yeah, yeah. Can you get the princeps on? Yeah, on is there that too? what you all want me to do? Is I, I guess I'm saying like, who's the team that's going on? Should I go on? Uh, on Aurora? I think you and I should go. On. Yeah, okay. you two, the princeps. Yeah. I mean, anybody else? I can go and give like little help actions and stuff I like that, but I'm also really good here. I think that Lucian will also be there. And I think Reeve should go I think I should definitely go. I think Reeve should go in the Psychodrone. Oh, that's maybe. great, that's great. And you can I be in two places at once. I can, I only have two spell points left, which means I can cast one first level spell and then cantrips. So I'm gonna need us to make, because this is in the pitched combat, we might make a sloppy decision. That's right. okay, we're making a call Two right now. Two of us are staying on the ship, everyone else is okay, okay, what so about I, both, both berries on the satellite or one berry both here? Berries on both the berries on the satellite. Both berries on the satellite. I think I should stay here because I actually think that I would be more useful giving help. Are we worried? Right. Just I just wanna, just one last thing before I take this little minivan of a dog around and collect <laughs> everyone. Are we worried that, do we feel like, oh, maybe we should have some gunners? At, coming at what's attacking I, No, this us. is a full decoy. That's yeah. like going yeah. as fast yeah. forward. Exactly. We're this, only this side, doing movement hey, forward. Hey, this side, and, yeah. if we don't make it through this, that's fine. All right. Yeah. Skipper, I, I know agree. that you've been gone for a while, but here's 5,000 credits. Don't fuck it up. You cussed at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we cuss now. We're new. I slapped my kiss on <laughs> <No. laughs> What? 
Okay, uh, uh, Reva, you used your actions. Uh, Skip has disappeared. Norman is going to, uh, is anyone doing anything to the speed of the ship or no? I guess Norman, can Norman take the, uh, those same flight? Yeah, 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 same abilities? pilot actions. Yeah, yeah I think that would, uh, he would take the bonus action. Let's move fucking, forward. I'm cool. gonna, movement forward. Yeah. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my, um, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna boost the engine of the ship. I'm gonna use a hull dice cool. uh, or a power die to uh, boost engines. We're gonna do this. We're gonna engine tune this ship. Cool. We're gonna roll that dice. It's gonna be a six. We're gonna multiply that by fifty. That's three hundred. Okay, is that increasing the speed of the ship, yes. or is that? By 300. Okay, the ship's speed is now 600. Wow. So that would be a, if it's a full movement, 1800 movement. Mm -hmm. Can we, can, so I'm We have time off. because I think Aurora had, Aurora can literally take two dash actions. So that's like, that's like 400 feet. And then if I convince her something is hostile, it's like another 80. So I think I have, I think I can collect everyone and be ready to just jump onto this thing. Cool. So uh, Norman kind of pilots the ship by. forward. Aurora Nevins, um, Zorch jumps onto Aurora Nevins. Uh, Aurora Nevins uh, grabs Zorch, runs past the reactor. You toss Gnosis to Zorch, who grabs it. Call me. The berries. Berries are uh, coming along. Both berries are going and to the satellite. Margaret. And Margaret. Yeah. Sid staying on the ship. Or no, no this is I'm coming too. This whole side of the table plus Barry, Zorch, Aurora and Evans are all going. Yeah. Reva, and since I'm using Aurora's thing, I'm gonna buffer myself just in case. Copy. And Reva, you're yes. you're staying because you wouldn't be able to psychodrone this round anyway. I, I wouldn't be able to psychodrone this round anyway because it's a bonus action. Yeah. I'm out of spell points. Yeah. You're just, more useful on the ship. I'm more useful on the ship. Copy Great. that. Great. Um, cool. So the pilot, the coordinator, and the mechanic stay on the ship. Both gunners and operator. Uh, and uh, jump off. Um, uh, U.S. rush out. Um, uh, you see. Uh, I change my pants really quick and then I do a little spritz. <laughs> spritz, spritz, spritz. Cool. Nine hundred feet. Margaret, we gotta go. Just it's a bonus action. Cool. I'm gonna say because this is crazy as hell. But basically, you guys use your whole turn this turn to get on Aurora and Evans. Yeah. Rush. Uh, you see, as you rush towards the back of the ship, you see Plug says, "Remember, you're not gonna die till I die, and you know when I'm dying." Tomorrow. Tomorrow. He uh, opens the door to his stuff hut. You all dive in and he ejects it and the stuff hut rockets and slams into a gate on the fang of Frangus. Uh, let's just use um, a dash action because uh, and see what that reveals to us. She's hasted right now. Can we stealth in? Uh, can you stealth in? Um, uh, I could, I, if I drop haste, she'll lose a turn but we can, then I can cast Smuggle. Okay. And if you want to do that instead. I, no, I think we just go in guns okay. a blazing. Cool. I think yeah. we are expecting bad oh. things to happen. Yeah, so let's let's use, let's have Aurora take her first 100 feet of movement in. Um, dope as hell. Um, uh, you rush in, so Aurora's gonna take your movement in. Aurora rockets along the satellite and immediately gets to the central room on the satellite. Um, you guys rush in, you look around and see sort of within this chamber here um, uh, that uh, you guys have beat your way past a lot of your enemies. You've like outstripped them by so far that they're still well behind you. You see that there is a waiting transportation pod uh, ready to shoot down to the moon's surface. Uh, looking at that, you uh, immediately, I think, Margaret, you would immediately clock that as uh, a King Prilbis in Zorch's body was going to toss Valdrenor uh, in skips into this transportation pod to just rocket him Them down to the planet. Down. Straight okay. down. Um, but you walk in, Zorch has Gnosis and goes, now. Yeah. 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 As soon as uh, possible. Can we all go down? Can, is anyone uh, in this room? Any humans? Uh, you don't see any human beings in this room. It looks totally unpopulated here. Can we do some sort of perception yeah. sense of what smell about, what with kind the of perfume, boys? What kind of perfume does Lucian wear? Just really like, it's almost like cedar. So it's kind of like mask, oh, but then yes. it's really Woodsy. beautiful. It's really beautiful, but like earthy. Barry, nose is up. <laughs> Give me a perception check with advantage. That's gonna be two sixes for my berry. Uh, berry nine goes, 
cloaking device. <laughs> Gunfire opens up as emerging from cloaking oh devices God. are oh. uh, uh, tons of UFTP shock troops. Okay. Uh, can we attack them? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm gonna have I'm gonna send Aurora Nebbins after another one. Cool. Uh, what does she add to attack? It's not on her thing. Oh, sorry. It should be. Um, uh, she adds a plus six. Okay. Does a fourteen hit? Fourteen does not hit. Okay. So she just misses. Ooh, targeted strike. Okay, go for it. So three. Uh, uh, succeeds. Uh, okay. Three three hits. Nice. So she has a D12, so that's nine plus whatever she has. Four. Adds. So that's plus 13. Three from the target. Uh, 16. Okay. Uh, badly injured. One of them is bad. Ah! As a dog starts attacking. Okay. Um, I will try to attack that one. Uh, four are uninjured. Okay. Um, I mean, five, five are dead, five are up, but one of the so five is up. So Aurora Nebbins can't even help with this. So she's going to take two attacks. Hell yeah. Because Great. she's uh, yeah. hasted. Amazing. Seven plus, what was it, six? But 13 doesn't hit. Try again. Five, she misses both times. It's okay, girl. Um, <laughs> and then. Um, uh, all the shock troops are dead. Aurora and Evans is there. Yeah. Uh, can get Let's you guys. Let's get to plug. Let's get to the. Um, yeah, I'm going to say, just with Aurora and Evans' action, she yeah. grabs all of you on her back, gets to plug, plug, boom, uh, gets you all back aboard the ship. I like Hell yeah. Aurora. Aurora is going to have a tough time. Oh, coming down from this, so I, I let it. I, if it seems safe, I'm gonna let. I'm gonna give her because it's tactical advantage. She has like loses a turn. Cool, copy that. So, hey, if you ever see an Aborigine hitching a ride, just let him in. <gasps> I mean, I mean, we got all the equipment for it. Yeah, we I, we installed this <laughs> huge <laughs> ass tank. But <laughs> honestly, <laughs> right now Aurora's in there. And oh it's yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> Aurora and Evans <laughs> <laughs> chasing some tortoises. <laughs> through the water system. So it did find actually a really good use. Okay, that's great. <laughs>